Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Here's a look at some of your Friday morning headlines. Developing right now, Miami-Dade police are investigating a double shooting. It happened overnight at Northeast 159th Street and 6th Avenue. Investigators are focusing on a car in the middle of the street riddled with bullets. There is an area that's still blocked off as police investigate. They tell us a man and a woman were taken to Aventura Hospital in stable condition. More tributes for the two FBI agents killed in a shootout in Sunrise. Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin were honored on the House floor and before a Panthers game last night. This weekend, there will be separate ceremonies at Hard Rock Stadium, which will be closed to the public. It comes as we learn more about the man the FBI says killed them. A neighbor tells us David Lee Huber was a loner who once pulled a gun on a pest control man. Miami-Dade police are asking for your help finding the man in this sketch. They say he tried to sexually assault a woman in the area of Northeast 92nd Street and 6th Avenue in Miami Shores back on December 20th. The woman fought back when he shoved her to the ground. The attacker then took off. You're asked to call police with information. New this morning, Democrats are one step closer to passing President Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill. Vice President Kamala Harris was the deciding vote for a budget measure that would let Democrats pass the package without Republican support. Senators worked throughout the night in a marathon session known as vote a -rama, passing mem measures that include support for restaurants and limits on who can get stimulus checks. And that's a look at some of your Friday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.